day we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day We be grinding And if you wanna come and test us I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio When I'm spitting What's up, fellas? This is Coach KK coming back round your way with some more of this good defensive play. This is Volume 5, Part 6. Okay, Volume 5 is always defensive tips and tricks. So let's kick back and take some notes. And we're going to go right off the bat with this thing. As you can see, the wide side of the field is to the left. I went over there because it's obvious that this is one of the plays from the community. The community has a, a handful of plays that's just so obvious and automatic. <laughs> the tight end is going to the corner. The running back is going to the flat. I'm splitting the distance and I'm making sure I use L2 to square up. Now, the title of this video is called User Picks Doing Broken Plays Off Script and Out of Structure. So I had to throw in one of the easy plays so far, you know, to kick off. But you're going to see what I mean by broken plays off script and not a structure. And, you know, if you got everybody feels like we got the best user skills. If you feel like that, iron sharpens iron, my brother. Hit that like button and let's shake hands. That's my way of shaking hands with you. Got it? Good. All right, let's look at the next one. As you can see, the game is on the line. I'm up by seven. He needs seven. This is a critical point in the game. Look at the pre-snap movement. That's what you need to pay attention to today. I pulled my safety down as if he's a middle linebacker. He sent his running back out to check for man of zone and my man followed. He know his man all across the board because my man followed. What he don't know is I used my two safeties and turned them from deep halves to curl flats to take care of the corner routes, you know, the deep corner routes out there. And I'm hovering in the middle. Now, he think that guy in the middle is doing like a hook zone or a buzz or a robber, but he don't know who's sticking 19 or 86. And his middle didn't work. As you can see, he prolonged in the middle. See what I'm saying? This is what's called off script and out of structure. Ooh. <laughs> boy, it look like we on skates out here, boy. Ice skates at that. <laughs> How you do that there? That's more. And let's just shout out to more right here. This guy is from San Francisco. He plays backup free safety. He's 6'3". He's a 90-something speed. This is a premier safety to do user stuff with. Look at this right here. Look at the pre-snap movement. I just slid in with Sutton, and I'm fighting for underneath leverage. You know, I'm fighting for leverage underneath and inside. Hey, boy, I'm out here shaking bacon today, boy. <laughs> so you're going to see that a lot. So we got some some cool stuff to talk about today. Look at this. Pre-snap means a lot in this game. Check this out. Greenlaw is sticking Adams. I'm on my safety more once again, way on the left side. And I'm looking at Adams right now because he's in the middle of the trips. We know he's the most inside receiver. So my first instinct is to go where Adams is going. He couldn't go to the corners because once again, I took my safety and put him in the curl flats out there. And I wasn't even in his peripheral. You can see when he snapped the ball, I wasn't in his window, his passing window. But one thing about it, I was moving before the ball was even snapped. And right here is just kind of like reading and reacting. If he goes straight, if he go inside, or if he go, you know, on an in route or something like that. Here's another example of broken plays off script and out of structure. Game on the line. Once again, it's the two. It's under the two minute warning. I'm shifting, I'm moving. He don't know who's sticking Cooper Cup. He sees a linebacker on him. And then he's fooled because I'm the user and I got a two-way streak and stalled him out of gas. <laughs> Defending two guys at one time. That's what you call kind of like cone bracketing. Here we go. This time, whole different look. You got to switch this thing up. You know, this is part of user picks because one play, you're back there. Next play, you're in his face. Look at me on Warner, Fred Warner, getting out of the trash before the snap even happened. That's the only way I got that user pick. You feel me? You got to get out of the trash because a mesh concept can come by. Guys can start pulling slants and drags and all type of chaos can happen. Look at him. He's heavily loaded on the left side. But look where I'm using on the right side for a reason because I don't want to get caught up in the trash. Someone got to come my way. 
you understand you got to read this stuff like the it's the wide side of the field on the right side so it was obvious that he was going to the right you got to sometimes just see the offense see the field from the offense's point of view look how i pulled my guys in my safety's in took them from deep half got them i'm running two man under once again and pulled my safeties in to curl flats from deep halves because it makes no sense of putting them in the back back there you know they ain't got nowhere to drop back to they're just gonna be out of the picture you know in a lot of our offensive strategies we talk about how many guys are not in the box how many guys are not involved in the play like look at this i'm getting out the trash once again i'm checking number 84 over there in the slot to see if he's running the bubble screen he's inside i'm out of the trash i'm kind of on top of the clouds you know what i mean you got to get on top of the clouds underneath the sky had I been a had that been a computer control defender and I'm somewhere on my lineman or my safety, he would have had a free passing window. You know, but you gotta get out of the trash. Here we go once again. This is one of my favorite plays. I'm on Dunlap. You see it. So many small nuances happen that you would never even think of. If you're a veteran at this thing, you understand. So let's let's talk about it. I'm on Dunlap. I beat him to the punch. He got a 90 something speed Lamar Jackson quarterback his goal every down is to roll out to the very sideline and make a play it's a race right here look I beat him to the punch he's still dropping back and I won that race that's why he stopped and it just turned into my mind versus his mind instincts versus instincts you know and he surrendered like this is in slow motion right now but we were going full throttle in real time and it, like I say, it was my mind versus his mind. And I made a play on the ball. I jumped back and seen an opening spot. I didn't even think he was going to catch the ball. I thank you. Appreciate it, football gods. <laughs> Here we go once again, just being smart, keeping everything behind me. I felt for the play action, but I realized I had enough range. And lo and behold, he's throwing the ball to the community's favorite target area. I don't know about you guys. But if I had to take a survey and say where's the community's favorite target area, I would say in that 15 to 20 range, 15 to 20 yard range from the line of scrimmage, like these little posters right here. That's about 15 to 20 yards. Nice way to tip it to yourself, Coach KK. Making plays out here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys take notes, man. I had enough range. I, You know your limits. And I would rather play on the safety before any player. All right, so here we go. It's trips. He got Mahomes. He got Tyreek Hill way out there on the wide side. He's the lone receiver on the on the left side of the trips. Okay. I am running these guys route for them. Let's look at this in slow motion. I'm running the route for him. He can't go to Hill because we got somebody over the top. And he was stalled. Now, when you think about that, I kept that guy in my peripheral the whole entire time. I'm watching the quarterback. I'm strafing. And I'm just being poised, you know. Some of you guys already knew how to do this stuff. Kudos to you. Hit that like button, man. That's your way of giving me a handshake and saying, you know, a pound game. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Here we go once again in the red zone tie game. I burn my safeties down. I want to make sure my guys are involved in the play. I burn my safeties down. You know, they might have been in like quarters or thirds or halves and stuff. But why have them guys going like that when you can just put them in the front of the end zone and make them stop and stall? You know what I mean? Booyah, getting out of the trash. Yeah, I, I very seldom when I play on the linebacker or when you should play on the linebacker. When Usually when you're on a linebacker, you've picked up one of their tendencies or you just guarantee you know where the ball is going or where your weakness is at with the computer control defenders. Like right here, look at this. Broken play, off script, out of structure. That was just natural instincts. It's not safe to do quarterback spy and contain every down. I'm going to tell you that now. I'm like, I'm doing it this down. Watch this right here. This is, look, he couldn't get out and he's uncomfortable. Okay. We beat him to the punch that time. But like I say, I might have set that up. Like if you watch that whole drive, I didn't do contain. He must have felt free. You don't want to do contain every single down because we played four or five hundred games in a year, right? Look, game on the line once again. 23-23. Got him. We know he had all his timeouts. He was he could have threw any pass anywhere. Look at the juke and the jiving, boy. <laughs> he 
he could have threw a pass anywhere so i ain't have i couldn't play just the sidelines i had to play inside and fight for inside leverage and play underneath still because he had the timeouts but like i was saying about the contain you can't do contain every down i don't do contain every down i do contain like on third downs and fourth downs when it's real critical i'm not gonna do it on first and second because he's already trained to break the contain some people can break contain with their eyes closed look at inside leverage i'm inside now so when you're inside you've already won the battle in case he do come inside and if you're using l2 properly you can square yourself up and get a free speed burst the other way it's called velocity speed in a given direction look at that i'm using l2 keeping everything in front of me discipline you know some guys don't like to hit that l2 on defense because it takes away your speed but one thing it do it might take away your speed but you won't over pursue you know what i'm saying um over pursuing and under pursuing is just as bad as each other <laughs> thank you underneath using l2 and sometimes you got to work that l2 just to see which where they're going you know you can follow somebody on the street like this prime example right here look it's man to man he don't know it so he's gonna move a guy in motion i know who i'm sticking the tight end right but it looks like zone in his mind because he don't know if the middle linebacker is sticking them or the the safety over there is sticking them so he okay he's checking for man of zone he don't know what my middle linebacker is doing i'm fighting for inside leverage but i'm holding l2 before the play and i'm running the route you know usually when the play start i was i would initially hold l2 depending on where he's going you know this stuff is i always talk about his second nature you know like right here here we go again i'm gonna take away this guy's inside leverage i'm never going outside so he did stick and not and it didn't work and look as you can see he's winning at the time 14-0 stick and nod didn't work that time because i'm already committed to inside so i don't have to get fooled by that and i had enough range to not go outside here we go this is beautiful right here all man across the board okay user pick that only happened because i was on my safety and I gave myself some principles and guidelines. I say, okay, it's all man across the board. I don't trust my guys to defend these guys going slants and drags across the middle. So I'm going to be on the safety. I'm not going to move pre-snap at all because I don't want him to know who I am on. And I'm going to come straight down when the ball is snapped. I don't know if the left receiver was coming in or the right receiver. I don't know if 81 or 16 was slanting in the middle. But I know I got to come straight down because somebody is going to get beat. I knew somebody was going to get beat on that play. And I knew it was going to be a stick concept or double slants. I just didn't know who. So, yeah, man, if, if you like it, if you rock with your boy, hit that like button, man. I appreciate the likes. That's your, my way and your way of handshaking. <laughs> anyway, you guys going to do it anyway because you guys like these user pick videos for some reason. They get more exposure than the offensive videos. I don't know why. But that's how it go. But yeah, here we go. Once again, fourth quarter, game on the line. I'm on the slot cornerback. Look at me. I'm playing as if I'm in zone. Look at me holding L2 the whole entire time. And what he saw, you got to see that in slow motion now. Because in real time, he saw me strafing holding L2. So it looks like I'm, I'm like in a hook zone technique. Or, you know, I'm in a, like a soft squad technique. See, I'm holding L2. He's expecting for me to let him go and go pick up one of the guys coming across. That's why he threw that ball. That's what you call user awareness and instincts and just being knowledgeable. You know what I'm saying? I always preach about this right here. Most passes are thrown in the front of the end zone when they're in the red zone. Only advanced users try to go deep and do exotic stuff. Here we go right here bunch to the right as you can see watch me i jump in the middle boom pre-snap movement now this is gonna look like i'm on an expressway i got a two-way street you know like going east on i-10 or west on i-10 or i-95 south or i-95 north that's what it looked like out there because i split the distance between both of those guys 
So I had a two way streak. And you know, I didn't get fooled by what he was doing. Here we go. Underneath. There you go. Two way streak. Got off him. Got on him. Keeping these guys, just keeping guys in my peripheral. That's why I say it's better to play on safeties because you have more advantages of playing two guys at one time. You know, you, you can take away two of the five eligible receivers by playing on the safety. Nice. I ran the route for him. <laughs> that was cool. I'll take that any day, you know. Here we go, man. Game on the line. Nine seconds. I'm on my slot corner. He think it's all gravy because he's in tight. And look what I'm doing. Get over here! <laughs> okay, I might have not picked that off or nothing like that, but that's still considered part of the user pick scheme. You know, you don't have to make a play on the ball every single time. Sometimes the stuff you do as a user don't show up on the stat sheets. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, it don't show up on the stat sheets, but this is a quarterback hurry. I'm daring him right now at this point. Look, he's changing his play, moving guys all out of spots. I, he's playing in my world now. You understand? He's playing in my dormitory. Like, he's in reaction time while he's on offense. One thing you don't want to do is be playing defense while you're on offense. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Boom. All right, y'all. This is Coach KK. RPO peak zone bubble. That's where we started this channel from, man. Ain't nowhere in the world we going to let anybody catch a pass like that on us. I'm out of here, folks. Y'all get in the study hall. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is how we do it every day. We be grinding. And if you ask me, we the best I'm going to be like. Yo, that's us with the crazy flow. And you gon' hear us on the radio. This is how we do it.